Hello, my YouTube family. We are going to cast up February Paycheck 2. Alright, a couple of little changes. We expected 200. That's what we budgeted for. It came in at 155. So it came in lower, which is fine. We did have a uh, job scheduled. It was going to take two days and at the last minute, like not even the day before, it was like a few hours before they decided to cancel. So, which is no big deal. So we're going to make it work with what we have is $155. Out of the $155, prop money, prop money is $25 because we cashed out with a Amazon gift card for $25 so that's going to go into our Amazon envelope that we have and then the cash the cash was um, 130 okay so Okay, we wanted to do $36 for TD. Um, that's only going to get like $15. Because we did go low, but that's okay. Because anything I could put towards my credit cards to get them paid off as quick as possible is fine. So if I only have $10 or $15 to give them, you know, this week, then that's better. It's going towards the principal. Capital One was paid, so... We're just going to put a PD next to that because we paid that $25. Gas is only going to get $20. We have household and personal care are only going to get $3 each. And hubby and I are still going to get $10. And I forgot to put down here pets. The pets are going to get their usual $20. So that's $90. Our sinking funds, car insurance is only going to get five. Medical is only going to get a dollar. PO box is only going to get a dollar. Lawn is going to get a dollar, and subscriptions is going to get ten because we do have extra in our subscriptions. So, all right, our savings challenges is going to get to 25 so that stayed the same on our big emergency fund we weren't going to put anything in but i don't like not putting anything in so we're just going to put a dollar in Alrighty, so that's all the changes for february paycheck two so first we're going to go right to our um amazon envelope that we have we're going to start with our cash envelopes first and we have our Amazon envelope there, and we're going to pop the $25 in prop money in there. So we have a $25 gift card for that there. Okay. So let's count our money, and we should have $130. So we have 20, 40, 60. That off to the side. 70, 80, 90. 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. $130. I'm going to start with gas. He still has some gas money in here. He's got like $50, so we're just going to give him $20 for gas. 20, 40, 60, 70. So he's got $70 for gas. Household is only going to get $3. So we got one, two, three. $3. The only thing I might have to get for household is maybe some bleach. My my son and daughter-in-law don't use the bleach, and my husband and I do for our wipes and stuff when we do laundry. So um, I only buy like a small bottle, and I can get like a small bottle of that, like a dollar two for like a dollar twenty-five, and that will last us like two weeks. So I can do that. That's not a problem. 
All right, then personal care is getting three dollars. One, two, three. Okay, let's put that in there. Go. Pets is getting their usual 20. I do have to get them some dry and I think some treats. So that will help out with the dry and the treats. Hubby is getting 10. Oops. Got two tens there. And I'm getting 10. And mine is completely empty. Alrighty. If I can get my envelope open. My, there we go. All right. Cash envelopes are done. So we'll put them off to the side. And then we're going to go to our big emergency fund first. Since we're only putting a dollar in there. And then we can uh, do our sinking funds. So we're going to put a dollar in here. So that's going to make it $3,689. All righty. So let's get our emergency fund here. Take a dollar. And we have... Oops, there we go. One, two, three thousand, five hundred, three thousand, six hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 3,689 dollars. That is correct. Alrighty. We'll put this back. Oh, fingers don't want to work today. It's been, the weather has been so crazy down here in Florida. One day it's 80 degrees, one day it's 70 degrees, then we drop down into the low 60s and 40s one night and then 50s another night. I mean, it's been really, really weird for, uh, for February for the weather. Okay, Christmas. Go back to Christmas here. Alrighty. Fix our money a little. Alright, Christmas is getting $5. And that's going to give us 70. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to take this 5 out and we'll take this 10. So we got 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars for Christmas. That's coming along very nicely. Alrighty. There we go. Now we have our car insurance. I do have a savings challenge that I'm doing for our car insurance. Hopefully it should be done in the next couple of weeks. And whatever that money I have for that savings challenge is going to go towards our car insurance when it's due in July. So $5 for our car insurance is going to give us $40. I probably am running the wrong date because I can't remember the dates. Alrighty. So we have a five, we'll pop that in there. And we got 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we're correct with that. Put that in there. There we go. Now we have our medical. And our medical is going to only get one dollar. So it's going to bring it to 28. I don't have any doctor's appointments or need any medication at the moment. So we'll just keep building this up for when we need to use it again. We got 25, 26, 27, 28. Alrighty. And I do have for the P.O. Box, I do have a savings challenge for the P.O. Box. This is hopefully we're going to get close to fully funding that. I want to try to have at least $225 in there. Because the post office box goes up every year. I don't know how much it goes up every year. But I know it's like, I think last year to this year, I think it was like $10 or $12 or something like that that it went up. So I just want to make sure I have enough in there to cover the full amount for the year to pay for the P.O. box. Okay, that's getting a dollar. It's going to give us $23. Okay. 
the dollar in there. Okay, let's fix our money a little bit. Alright, 10, 20, 1, 22, 23. $23. If you hear the kittens in the background, they got a toy for Christmas. That's a bird that chirps. So that's probably the chirping that you're hearing is them playing with the bird. It chirps and it like, you know, flops around on the floor. <laughs> they're, they're really enjoying that. They love that bird. Okay. We have our lawn. And our lawn is going to get a dollar. So we're going to have eight dollars in there. He did come around and we did pay him. Um, because our grass was getting, you know, kind of like bushy out there. And I'm like, oh, we better call him see if he can, you know, come and cut it. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We got eight dollars for that. And we have our subscriptions. And our subscriptions is going to get 20. No, nope, it's only going to get 10 in our prescriptions. Okay. So we have 20, 25, 30 in our subscriptions. I do this once a month when I stuff my, stuff my subscriptions. I do that once a month because it's easier than just take a $20 to try to split through so many envelopes. I apologize for that. The kittens are hitting everything. Okay. Now we have our credit card that we are going to add $15 to that. So I did take the prop money out of here because we did use it. And I did show you on Transfer Tuesday last week that we, um, that we put that towards the, uh, the TD credit card. So 15, so 5, 10, 15. And that we're going to put right in here. Let me just mark this off and put plus 15. Now when I go to the bank, I will take this out and put it in the bank to make that transfer. Alrighty. There we go. And then the, the, what, the what's left should be the $25 for our savings challenges. And that's what we have left. So everything worked out, right? Yay. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm glad it did this time. But yep, that is our February Paycheck 2 budget. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. I do appreciate everyone who's supported me, who's commented on my videos. Who subscribe to my channel I do appreciate everyone I love everyone that's out there so hugs to everyone for supporting me and just keeping me going you guys are keeping me on track <laughs> I did fall off the train a little bit last year for um, you know the holidays and stuff but I'm thankful that it wasn't that bad as as far as debt because we were at one point we were with my husband's truck and all that. We were like over $30,000 in debt. So um, right now I'll take the little bit over $2,000 or about $2,000 that we have in debt right now and hopefully get that paid off in the next few months. But I do appreciate everyone who's, who has just been so supportive of me. I mean, I love everybody who who is out there. I love the budgeting community. I love everyone in the budgeting community. They are just some awesome, awesome people. So with that said, thank you very much for for everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love yous. Bye.